Hello. So one of the interesting differences between Europe and America, at least in the UK, I don't know about like the entire EU. I don't know which countries drive on the left versus the right. I think most in the EU drive on the left. I'm not sure though. Actually, I, I really don't know. Definitely in the UK, um, drive on the left. You would think out of all the things to standardize, like screw the metric system and everything. You know, that's okay. We can convert that. But if I was traveling to the UK driving, I would be an absolute menace trying to figure out like which way to turn. Like, can I turn left at a red light? Uh, oh my God, I would probably kill many innocent people driving down that road. Not intentionally. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm going to watch this guy. He's an American. He's driving in the UK for the first time. I thought it would be interesting. Hi, this is Mike at MikeTroubleGuy.com, and today I'm traveling in the UK. And for the first time, I'll actually be driving on the left-hand side. I wonder if all the license plates in, in like the UK look like this with the yellow. Because here in America, if you don't know this, every state has different license plates, so you can easily tell where, where the cars are the road from. Instead of the right-hand side of the road. So I decided to make this small little video and uh, bring you guys along and see what it's like to drive on the opposite side of the road. I would be, oh my god, I'd be so nervous. I probably just wouldn't do it. So now I'm already confused because you've got this double yellow line, which almost makes me feel, you could have told me this was in America because here in America, this would just be the right side of the road and then two lanes going the same direction. <laughs> I don't think that's what this is though. You see how dangerous that would be? Oh yeah, no it's not. I gotta tell you, guys, this is really, really strange. Uh, driving on the... Uh, it bothers me that his seatbelt is twisted. Left-hand side, that out there. as opposed to the right-hand side. Uh, it's a world of difference. And Even just being seated on the other side of the car would be weird. And it's a really strange feeling. Oh my god, there's like three lights. I would be so nervous. I would have no idea what to do here. Oh my god, I would have gone to the other side of the median already. I already know. And there you go. There's the first four cars I would have hit. <laughs> the freeway wouldn't be too bad. Because, yeah, this could be America for all I'm concerned. Like, other than the people on the other side so of the media. So good. Uh, I haven't wrecked yet, which is a good thing. Uh, what I find weird, though, is that, you know, the everything is changed in the car so in other words the gear selector is uh, in the center uh, which of course is on the left hand side of you what a nightmare this is for auto manufacturers too we just need to pick a side the fact that they have to make cars with the steering wheel on the left and the right so the right hand side and the mirror of course is on the left hand side of you and you know i keep on finding myself oh looking my you know this direction for the rear view mirror but it's not it's on the other imagine. side so it's a really very odd feeling. Uh, it, it, it takes a while to get used to, and, and I'm not sure, you know, how long it's gonna be, you know, when, when I get to my hotel and I, I sleep tonight, when I wake up and use the car in the morning, am I gonna veer to the right-hand side? You know, I- <laughs> Yeah, you definitely don't wanna like stumble out the door sleep sleepily, forgetting what country you're in. I don't know. It's just a very, very odd and very uneasy, or a very uneasy feeling or um, driving this way. And imagine driving, I mean, driving drunk is already a horrible thing to do, but imagine driving drunk and <laughs> on the other side of the road. Oh my God, you'd definitely cause mayhem. I don't drive drunk ever, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, I was just thinking like that would be even... That would be insane. That would be like impossible. I constantly find myself looking this way to look at my rearview mirror, but it's actually on the opposite There's side. There's cows in the cars. And that noise you're hearing, the moo, is from my Tom Tom telling me that there Tom is Tom. a camera. What year is it? A, a, a speed camera ahead and to watch out for that speed camera. Uh, what's interesting on the highway here, it's uh, 70 miles per hour. So, so you guys have speed cameras. Does that mean a cop is sitting somewhere 
Or does that mean it's a camera just set up taking pictures of everybody? It's very similar to what you'd find in the US. For their speed. Uh, the only difference is they have all of these speed cameras everywhere. So if you're driving here in the UK, you should definitely be aware of that. Now, one of the things I highly recommend is getting an automatic transmission. That's crazy, because here in America, you might have a red light camera, but not any like speed cameras that just um, take your speed and give you a ticket. That would be annoying. Uh, this will help you not have to worry about shifting in addition to drive. It might be hard to find an automatic in Europe, huh? Driving on the opposite side. The other thing I have, and as you can hear, is I have <laughs> drunk on the other side of the road and in a manual car. No, I would just give up. A TomTom -tom navigation system that allows me to uh, not have to focus on what road. I don't know why I keep in my hypotheticals. I keep saying I'd be drunk. <laughs> what I'm going on or where I need to turn, anything like this. So what you want to do is pull away from any distracting items that are going to cause you to pay less attention to what side of the street you're supposed to be on and have that stuff pulled out. So again, That's automatic transmission, TomTom -tom navigation system will help me focus on just driving and staying on the proper side of the road and uh, making sure that I get through all those intersections. Oh my God, there's another speed trap like a minute later. So anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. Definitely don't forget to uh, like this video and uh, subscribe if you can. Thanks so much. I mean, that was, that was fun. That was short. Thanks to Mike Young. I'm going to go check out his channel. Link down below. I guess that's about all there is to it. It's, it's backwards. It's reversed. It's mirrored. But it would be so my brain is just too low functioning to to figure that out uh, it, it just wouldn't work it would not work um anyway that's interesting and i also learned that there's a crap ton of speed cameras in the uk that sucks i'm sorry um hope you guys are doing good <laughs> that's all i got i'll see you tomorrow no, I won't. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.